biological, chemical, and physical properties of matter result from the ability of atoms to form bonds from electrostatic forces in a time much like our own. Forest people set out to explain what I just said. Those four people are us. Before you can understand what I mean by biological, chemical, and physical properties of matter result from the ability of atoms to form bonds from electrostatic forces means you need to understand what a chemical bond is. So what is a chemical bond? Tell me what is what a chemical that? bond. Chemical bond? Yeah. It's a piece of candy when you wrap it around your finger real tight and pull it off. I have no idea. Ooh. Um, something that sticks together? Am I, is that right? Marquise, I have no idea. Ask me something that I know about it. Something that has to do with chemistry. A chemical bond is... Oh, joke. Uh, that's a funny story, I don't know. Well, it's been a long time, but I guess it would have to, I'd have to be able to distinguish whether or not you're talking about molecules, um, composed of elements, or if you're talking about something greater, but it's basically the relationship that exists between... Oh! It's a, a chemical bond. Uh, it's when two atoms meet together as a bond. I have no idea what a chemical bond is. I didn't do it. I'm innocent. <laughs> and she died on her own. Okay. A chemical bond is something that's used to bond something together like crazy glue, but I don't know how to explain it. Ernest, come here. I don't know. Oh, I forgot that. I just was learning about chemical bond. Chemical bond. Two chemicals that bond, that that connect. But I don't know. Oh, don't ask me anything about chemistry. Chemical <laughs> bond. A chemical bond would be uh, James Bond's cousin. <laughs> um, not uh, not really. Actually, a chemical bond is atoms that bond together to form molecules. There are three kinds of chemical bonds: ionic, covalent, and metallic. Let's start with. Don't ever do that again. Ever. Ugh. An ionic bond is when you have a positive ion. I'm so happy. Life is great. I'm so positive. And negative ion. I hate life. And since opposites attract, they bond together and form a molecule. Aww. That's hot. Our next kind of bond is... Covalent bonds. When two atoms both want an electron... Then they compromise and share electrons. Creating a covalent bond. Our last kind of bond is... Metallic bonds. 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 Bonding. Now listen closely, what I'm about to tell you is very important. Metallic bonds are exactly the same thing as covalent bonds, just with metals. Do you need me to say it slower? you need me to say it again? Metallic bonds are... You guys still awake? Please just stay with us for another while. Basically, the world is the way it is because of chemical bonds. Okay, you guys could go back to sleep now. Bye. Play it louder so it can't hear you. 
the Captain Caban is too fast. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. The Captain Caban is two atoms. No, I didn't say two. The Captain Caban is when atoms bond together to form a chemical. I mean, to form. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay I'm ready. You ready? Anything about the periodic table? Forget it. Go. So, what is an atom? Atom, as opposed to you know, like atom, a t o m, or atom and e. A t o m. A t o m. Uh, it's a uh, it's a <laughs> it's a small unit uh, comprised of a, <laughs> a molecular structure that is the building blocks of matter. Matter. That's it. That's great. Is that good? You know what an atom is. You asked the wrong question, Marcus. A chemical bond is atoms bond together, that bond together, to form a molecule. Okay, say it one more time. A chemical bond is atoms that form together to, no, sorry. A chemical bond is atoms that bond together to form a molecule. Okay, good. You guys still here? Go away, it's over!